Well, Aaron, Fairpoint did make an offer when negotiations began back in April. As you take a live look at the rally going on here in Portsmouth, and according to the union, has not moved from that proposal. Since then, the union says they've made three comprehensive offers that, again, according to the union, will result in $200 million in savings for the company. Now, for seven weeks, the 1,700 Fairpoint union workers in New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine have been walking the picket lines. This rally, union members say, is designed to show the public that they are here, want to work, but the company is refusing to negotiate fairly with them. There are also indications that the strike is impacting customer service. The New Hampshire Public Utilities Commission says complaints about the company have risen sixfold since workers walked off the job on October 17th. And some people are still without phone or internet service more than a week after the Thanksgiving Day storm hit New Hampshire. Now, as the strike enters its eighth week, the union says they remain committed to getting a fair contract, and fortunately, they are not in this alone. The support we've gotten from the communities has been outstanding. Uh, we have a, a strike contingency fund that people can donate to, the IBWCWA Solidarity Fund, and we have had just such an overwhelming response to people seeing our plight. It's been heartwarming. As you take a live look at the rally going on here again, I did ask Brackett how he would characterize the tone of the negotiations. The only thing he would say is that both sides are talking. We also did reach out to the company for comment, but so far we have yet to hear back from them. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.